What's up ladies? My name is Patricia, also known as God, since I'm here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. So today I've come to you guys with a empties video. I've only done this one other time before, so I figured I'd come to you guys and share with you guys what my recent empties have been. I like these because you can really get a good sense of what someone actually likes or how someone actually felt about the product because they've been able to use the whole thing up. So let's go ahead and start in no particular order. I would say most of these are beauty items. So the first thing I recently finished up is the Ben Nye Luxury Powder. Oh my gosh, it looks a mess. I've had this for forever, guys, literally. The color that I have it is in Banana. This thing is so old. I got it when it was basically being super hyped on YouTube. And you actually, this you get a good bang for your buck because there's so much in here and it lasts for a really, 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 really long time. And so, would I purchase it again? Yes, I would definitely purchase it again, but I think this time I wanna try something different. I think I wanna try either the Black Opal one or the Sasha Cosmetics one. You guys let me know, like, what's your favorite powder to um, bake with, like, under your eyes? What do you, what do you guys like to use? Otherwise, I'll definitely repurchase this again. The next is a foundation that is no stranger to my channel. You guys know how much I absolutely love this foundation. I don't have it on today, which is a wonder. It's, it's, I always have this on, so it's crazy that I don't have this on today. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place foundation. I absolutely love it. You guys all already know I absolutely love this foundation this is this thing is full coverage the finish is absolutely gorgeous they have tons of colors to choose from the finish is definitely matte without looking so dry and it lasts forever on my skin on my oily skin and so this color that I have here is rich chestnut rich chestnut is definitely my summer uh, color but I can really get away with wearing it all year round because it's definitely it has a lot of pink in it. The color that I wear in the winter is sandalwood. The next is an eye cream by Benefit and it's the Benefit It's Potent uh, Eye Cream. It's not all the way finished but most of it is gone as you guys can see. I liked it. It was very hydrating under the eyes but was it a huge miracle worker? I don't know. Uh, I started using it around the time where I stopped working nights initially so what ended up happening was you know the dark circles did go away but at the time I was drinking more water I wasn't working nights anymore and I was using this cream so I think it's a combination of all three of those things next thing is another skincare product that you guys saw in my last uh, most recent favorites video right and it's the clean and clear essentials deep cleaning ast astringent with salicylic Whoa. Huh. The Clean and Clear Essentials Deep Cleaning Astringent with Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment. Oh my god. This thing is all the way empty. All the way empty. I told you guys how I tend not to use things that aren't natural on my skin, but my skin was going crazy one day and I said, I saw this on my sister's counter and I said, I have to try this. And so I did. There's a lot of like alcohol in it. I don't know. It dried out my skin completely. It dried out those pimples and they were not able to win. They would not, they listen, they were not able to win. And so I was like, you know, I'm just going to use it up until it's done. Then I'll go back to my natural stuff. Will I keep on using it? Like for the rest of my life? I don't know. But for now I like it. My skin likes it. And so will I repurchase it? I already, I already have. I already have. It's a, it's in my bathroom. I already have. I have, I have another bottle of this. So moving right along, um, we'll just go ahead and stick within the same family since we were talking about astringents and toners. I traditionally use witch hazel. That's what I've been using, right? And I had no problems with it. It's very gentle on the skin and all that and has all these benefits, stuff like that. But for when my skin was going crazy, it just was not working. And so what I was using before is the Fayer's Natural Remedies Witch Hazel aloe vera formula and this is in the rose petal one it smells like roses um i do have a little bit left in there but it's it's virtually finished this stuff is very gentle it does what it's supposed to do but when it comes to preventing and treating acne it doesn't it does it falls it falls flat i'm just saying will i repurchase probably not i'll just let you know right now um but there is another brand that you can find at Walmart that I really like more than this. This definitely is a little bit more moisturizing on the skin, I think, because it has, like, other things in it. The aloe vera juice makes it more moisturizing on the skin. So if you have dry skin, you'll probably really like this. I don't remember where I got this from, to be honest. Probably at some, like, health food store, I think. Yeah, that's probably where I got Maybe Whole Foods? I don't know. Something like that. The next thing is a fragrance. This is the... What is it? It's Julietta by... Toka, I think is how you say it. I'm not sure. I got it at 
Sally, not Sally's, Sephora. And it smells so, oh my goodness. I'm going to buy this again. It smells so good. You guys know that I'm on this perfume journey where I'm only buying one scent at a time. So I don't live this life of excess, right? Where you just have all these things and you accumulate six or seven or ten perfumes and you display it and it makes you feel good and, and that's good and gravy and I'm not like knocking anyone to, listen if you have the money to do it do it right but for me I don't want to live like a life of excess so right now I'm doing one at a time maybe I'll get to the point where I'm doing three and that'll be it but this comes from a woman who used to have like 10 perfumes at any given time that's excess right and so I'm doing my one I already replaced this one with another one which is the East Saint Laurent uh, black opium which I'm really enjoying and so but this was really really nice this is a lot more delicate than that one this is definitely a floral scent with like some musk somewhere it's slightly in it maybe some vanilla prop no that's not vanilla it's flat it's floral it's I love this this is like when I smell this I'm like this smells beautiful that's what I don't know it's just this smells so good the next thing is not beauty related you guys know that I'm a very much a vitamin person I take a lot of vitamins. I like to have, you know, I do green smoothies and I also do juices. So I do get my, you know, vitamins in a natural way, but I also like to supplement, making sure that I'm getting, I just like to make sure that I'm getting what I need. I'm a nurse. So I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. Right? So, oh, that's not what I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys this. This is the one that's finished. Right? I got it at Walmart, I believe. This is Nature's Bounty Super B Complex with folic acid plus vitamin C. I take... Um, B complex for energy. That's the main reason why I take this one uh, in the mornings and it definitely helps. So this is the one that I was keeping at work uh, just in case I forgot to take it at home. I have like a whole set of vitamins at work to take them. Um, and so yeah, I already replaced it with this one. This is the one that I had at home. So now I have this at work too. This is the Country Life Coenzyme B complex, a certified gluten-free it says supports energy, so that's why I take B complex. So if you you know you sleep, you don't get much sleep. You really should get enough sleep. But if you don't, cause life happens, go ahead and make sure you add like your B complex to um, your morning regimen and see how it helps. Next up is another foundation. I've been finishing out foundations. I'm really proud of myself. I have a lot of foundations, and so I've been trying not to buy as many new things, but really utilizing what I already have. And so this is a foundation by Hourglass. I just reviewed a newer foundation by Hourglass and finished the old one that I had. You guys know I was super impressed with this when I reviewed it back on my channel a while ago. And so it's the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. Um, I think I said in that video that it's arguably, I think, one of the best foundations that I've used for oily skin. I'm really sad that I had already done my high-end foundations or best foundations for oily skin video because I totally would, uh, would have included this on that, somewhere on that list. I might want to redo that video. I'm just saying. I really like this. It's, I don't know if they have more colors now. I really hope they do because I think this is a miracle for those of you guys who have really oily skin. I mean, oil dripping off your face, you know, skin, type of skin. I think you guys will like this. Dry skin, don't do it. Like, don't, don't even look at this foundation. Your skin will just dry up. Don't do it. But will I purchase this again? Probably not because, like I said, I've been trying to, like, shy away from just buying a whole lot of things and getting to the point where, you know, back in the day when people used to think of makeup, it would be like, you know, like my, when I look at like what the makeup that my mom has, she just has uh, some key, key things that she loves and she just keeps using it. And that's kind of where I, I probably won't be ever be able to be like that, but that's kind of where what I want to strive for, right? So I'm really going to keep it to like maybe five foundations, like in total, and that's it. And I'm nowhere close to that right now. So I'm right, right now, I'm using up what I have. So for now, I won't repurchase this. The next two things I want to show you guys are setting sprays. This one is from City Color and it says matte setting spray and this is the MAC um, Fix Plus. And so I had never tried this oddly enough so I just picked up a small one at the MAC counter like as I was checking out. It's cool. I like it. Is it worth all the money? Probably not. Will I repurchase it? Probably not. This I probably will. I think it was like $2.99. I love the smell. It smells so good. I got it like the, at a beauty supply store. I like it. The, the nozzle is good. Like it doesn't like deposit too much in your face. And like I said, it has like a fragrance to it. It doesn't linger though for those of you guys who are sensitive. Lastly, I have the Neutrogena makeup removers. Let me tell you guys. 
You guys know how much I love this, right? But I find it expensive. You spend a lot of money on these things, especially for me who wear... I wear makeup almost every day, to be honest. I do. And so... I use these literally every day. So anyway, I was watching one of my YouTube girls. Her name is a little, a little about a lot, I think. And she is, to me, she's just so beautiful inside and out. Check out her channel. And she said that she got the, she gets these at Costco. Would you believe it? There's like a huge box for 15 bucks. If you buy this, this, this one by itself that has 30 at like Zwayne Reed, Walgreens, the rest of them, it's like seven, eight bucks. But you get a full box of like, I think like 120 for 15 bucks. It's amazing. And so I finished one of them. I have several left over, but thought I'd show you guys if you guys are looking for wipes that are actually moist and do the job and you don't have to use like three to take your makeup off. So yeah, guys, those are my empties. Let me know if you share any of the favorites that I showed today down below. If you appreciate the video, definitely give me a thumbs up on your way out. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave those down below. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Periscope, Snapchat, and on my vlog channel. Everything you need will be down below. Hit me up. I'll be looking forward to hearing from you guys. I hope you guys are well and in good spirits, and I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys Sunday with another video. And as always, God bless. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be good. You better believe it. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be good. Get that understood. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be good. You better believe it. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be good. Get that understood. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be good. You better believe it. I'm gonna be happy. I'ma be good, get that understood. I'ma be happy, I'ma be happy, I'ma be good, I'ma be happy, get that understood, get that understood.